it's easy for people to believe what you say mm -hmm. when they can believe what they see. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to, uh, you know, the Bible says that we're not supposed to do anything to cause our brothers to go astray. So you have to understand the word that you want to give or the word that you want to, you know, uh, present to someone else. Like my father said, you have to first start with you. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm trying to find this guy. Okay. Give me a second that you're talking about. My, the, the topic we had today was teaching spiritual leaders, and you might want to write this down, teaching spiritual leaders by being a good pattern of righteousness in the home and the church. Yes. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> teaching spiritual leaders by being a good pattern of righteousness in the home and in the church. All right. I'm going to say it one more time so that I'm writing. Teaching spiritual leaders by being a good pattern of righteousness in the home and the church. All right. So once again, I say I like this type of uh, atmosphere because it, it allows you to be comfortable. And you, you don't have to worry about the hoop and the holler <laughs> and then the, you know, and trying to, you know, you know, the, the, the harmonizing and all this other stuff. You're trying to make people, you know, think you know what you don't know and sound like you know what you don't know. But mm -hmm. I, I do believe that, that God offers us an opportunity to be taught. Amen. And everybody don't always get one particular style of, of evangelism or one particular style of, of receiving the word. So it gives us an opportunity. This, this is me. My father, he's that, that, that prolific speaker, you know, and he just lift the church up uh, you know, in his hand to hold it. You know? <laughs> I thank God for my father. He, um, he, he uh, is a very influential part of my life. Yeah, uh, when, when he called me about uh, this opportunity, uh, for one, just to have him call me and uh, even give me an opportunity to me, I felt honored. Because uh, I know that he, he, he values uh, the heart of his people. And I know he's not going to allow just anybody to come before his people. So to have him even ask me, not because I'm his son, because uh, I, I want to believe because he believes what he sees. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, the Bible says we're supposed to, you know, give a witness. You know, we're supposed to be able to throw a tree by the fruit that it bears. So mm -hmm. I don't know which particular uh, fruit of the Spirit he saw, but I'm, I'm grateful that um, my living is not in vain. I'm grateful that my relationship with God um, is enough to convince him, an awesome man of God that he is, that I am who I am, and that I am real. Um, I want to thank my wife. Um, Amen. My children, Taylor and Aiden, I think you checked their sleep. All right. Um, this, this is a very, uh, when he gave me the topics, this one <coughs> hit me upside the head because uh, I've lived this thing on both sides, um, from, the, from the natural side as well as from the spiritual side. And uh, growing up in the household of a preacher wasn't always mm -hmm. <laughs> easy. Uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we 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 uh, we had a lot of challenges. We had a lot of we had a lot of things that we went through as a family that sometimes the church folks don't always get to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, growing up, you know, from a traditional lifestyle, we you know we come from old school. And you know, we, we didn't miss we, we didn't miss anything as far as you know. I had my parents that would love me. I had my father, you know, that taught me that a, a real man works. And I had all the different things. So I thank God for that experience, not knowing that one day I was going to be in this position uh, to where my children were going to be looking at me the way I was looking at him. Mm -hmm. But I do understand that um, when you know when you come into this relationship with God to where you want to, you want to, like Brother Dunn said, you want to tell everybody about it. Mm -hmm. You know, you want, 
not so much you want to show it off, but you want to show it off. You know what I'm saying? You want people to know that there's a change. You want people to know that there's something better than what's out there. And I, and I tell people, um, you know, I hear people say, God delivered me from a miserable life of sin. Well, my life of sin wasn't miserable. Mine was miserable. Mine was miserable. I had a good time, too. You know what I'm saying? I was sinning, but I had a good time. Myself. <laughs> I, uh, I, I ain't enjoyed myself enough for all of us here. Yes, sir. Uh, me, too. Uh, so, but I do understand that uh, coming into Christ, this new, you know, the Bible says you come into Christ, you become a new creature. And I understand now that everything that I went through, was to prepare me for this phase of my life. Mm -hmm. I could take those experiences because you can't tell me what it's like uh, to be an adulterer if you never did it. That's right. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me what it's like to uh, sacrifice everything just for a good time if you never did it. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's still a truth, mm -hmm. but the, it's the effectiveness of it, it won't be the same. Right. Mm -hmm. If you know I've been a good at two shoes mm -hmm. all my life, mm -hmm. the first thing you're going to say is, well, what did he know about? Uh -huh. So I thank God that while I was out there training, mm -hmm. yeah, we were. Mm -hmm. that he didn't kill me. There you go. Yes. That's right. Um, thank so Lord, so we, we thank God for, for being here. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping that, that something I'm, I'm going to say is going to touch your heart. And, and cause a change in your life, that if your relationship with God isn't where it needs to be, that, that it, this will cause a hunger in your spirit. Yes. So, you know, and I think that's, for me, that was the most exciting part, that hunger for God. Mm -hmm. uh, you yes. know, I grew up in, in church and, and, and did it all my life and, and, and you know, and, and heard all kind of preachers and, you know, seen, uh, seen this man here cast out demons, you know, with my own eyes. And, yes. But nothing was like that moment when I when I fell in love with God for real for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I understood why everybody was so crazy about the word. Mm -hmm. You know, because my tradition was I get over there and I make y'all dance, shout, whatever, and as soon as they say, all right, we're gonna go to Joshua. <laughs> I'm out the door. Uh -huh. And uh, it got to a point where it, is, it, is, it looks bad. It looks bad. And it got to a point where um, when I got into this thing for real, for real, mm -hmm. I would be so excited about the word mm -hmm. that I didn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. my bladder was full. Mm -hmm. Got to use the bathroom, but you're like, Ugh. I can't move. I can't move. Oh, I don't want to miss it. Living long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and so I thank God that I, I finally, you know, because uh -huh. you know, I got saved the, 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 the real way. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. go to the altar and come to Jesus. Mother, uh, you know, Zach, and, you know, you call Jesus, boy, call Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did it. Right. But understanding mm -hmm. for myself mm -hmm. now makes witnessing easier. Mm -hmm. My wife uh, brought to my attention, she said, well, baby, you've been preaching long before your initial sermon. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what do you mean? She said, every time you go to Walmart, you preach it. <laughs> Every time you see somebody, you preach. Either restaurant, you preach. And so, so that 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 brings brings things in. Uh -huh. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. Uh, this topic, like I said, is is, is uh is broad. So we're not gonna be able to touch all aspects of it. But one particular thing that I do want to bring to your attention uh, is is when it talks about setting a good mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Bible says that when you come into Christ, you're supposed to go out and tell other people about Christ. Mm -hmm. So we all have a, a, an obligation to right. to set an example, right. uh, to 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 be encouragement for someone else, mm -hmm. to to be hope for someone else. My wife and I, when we got married. You know, <laughs> she gets mad at me sometimes. We pray and ask God to allow our marriage to be a, a model. Mm -hmm. Template for somebody else. For somebody else. That's right. But you gotta be careful what you ask for. That's yes, right. Man. You might get it. Because it's just like my law. And, and we went through, in our first year of marriage, uh -huh. we went through any and everything mm -hmm. to break a marriage up. Mm -hmm. I mean, from, from betrayal to deceit to mm -hmm. money issues to uh, yes. You know, living arrangements to mm -hmm. family problems to communication problems mm -hmm. the whole night. Mm -hmm. We lost a child. Everything. Mm -hmm. We went through. Thank you, thank you, sir. We went through all that. Mm -hmm. And and one thing I learned 
um, uh, in that experience was we were able to bend. Mm -hmm. Every time we went around the corner, we was able to bend. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and that right. came from a strong mm -hmm. foundation right. of God. Mm -hmm. That was one of the first things I noticed about my wife. Uh, actually, that was the one thing that kind of drew me to it because. Uh, when I see her being intimate with God, it, it does something to, to, to my manhood. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it, 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 yeah, got me stuttering now. But mm -hmm. <laughs> it's something about seeing uh -huh. someone being intimate mm -hmm. with your God. Because mm -hmm. I know what it does for me. Uh -huh. So so to see her having that same intensity, that same excitement, that same reflection of a relationship with a man that I'm in love with, mm -hmm. it, 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 it just makes our love that much better. Right. Mm -hmm. So setting that good example, you know, we all grew up in a home. Some of us, you know, might not have had both parents in the house, but I was blessed to have both parents in my house. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I, I recall um, about my dad, um, you know, just um, just his, his mannerism. Number one, he always worked. Mm -hmm. He always worked. Um, even on his day off, he would find something to do. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just the, the way that he set the atmosphere in the house. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, we grew up, you know, like I said, from the traditional church. And, you know, you couldn't do nothing on Sunday. Yeah. You couldn't mm -hmm. play checkers. You couldn't play, Bastion, you know, uh, yeah. couldn't do, yeah, yeah. Sunday uh -huh. was off. Uh -huh. You know, That's God. but mm -hmm. it was those principles that I learned as a boy that shaped me going through life. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible says that, you know, the parents supposed to pray for the child, so that when they go out there, they won't go mm -hmm. for that stuff. Mm -hmm. How many of us did it anyway? Mm -hmm. yes. oh, I ran I put a both board. directions. I put a board in it. I put a board in it. <laughs> but do. it was always something mm -hmm. about what my father taught me. Mm -hmm. Even when I was in the middle of doing something, mm -hmm. I had no business doing, mm -hmm. and yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's still, I could hear right. his teaching. Uh -huh. I could, I could see uh -huh. uh, 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 examples of mm -hmm. things that he would do. Mm -hmm. You know, we we used to say, you know, uh, uh, my parents back then didn't have a lot of issues with children because mm -hmm. you know we always believed that our parents had eyes in the back of their heads, yeah. especially mama. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I thought that my relationship, my, my father's relationship with God, I just think God just snitched on me. Uh -huh. He did. Because <laughs> he, he did. would come and discipline me. Mm -hmm. And it, well, I wasn't bad. bad. I was just Jewish. curious. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like when you go. <laughs> and so there were times when what I would get disciplined. Uh -huh. And even though I'm thinking that the discipline should have been for this, because mm -hmm. I did this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he would do discipline down the road. Mm -hmm. Something you're going to like, do. How you beat somebody for something they ain't do yet? Because you finna do it. <laughs> but I learned that it's love. That's what it is. Okay. So what I'm saying, I'm saying all these things to say this. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing to have a good example. Yes, it is. Because there's a lot of people out there that are they're not fortunate mm -hmm. to have the, 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 the blessing of growing up in a Christian home. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you know, there's just certain things. Like on Sunday morning, we used to listen to 98.1, what was the radio station, King Street? 95.3. That's the one in King Street, the old 152. 98.1. 98.1. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Whatever it was, but every Sunday morning, we used to have like the 98.3. Yeah. 98.3. Yeah. Yeah. If you were, if you was from South Carolina and you were listening to that, you was a devil. Mm -hmm. Everybody, because I remember Bess used to play it too. Everybody listened to that station. So, like all these different things, I can do. To just pull back and remember, but they were all connected to either some type of spiritual foundation or some type of family foundation. Mm -hmm. And and so, what am I saying? I'm saying that having a good example is, is one of a blessing. But being in a position to where now you're the example, that's 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 where the rubber hit the road. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, okay, because yes, yes. it's easy to re, to record scriptures scriptures. That you heard mama them say. Mm -hmm. It's easy to to any fool can read the Bible and remember what it says. Mm -hmm. But when when this thing came real for me, and I wanted every every word that came out of my mouth to reflect who my God is, mm -hmm. it causes you to examine yourself, and it should if you're a man, mm -hmm. 
It should cause you to examine yourself on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, it's a men conference, and so my mentality went straight for the heart of the man, but I do believe that um, in this season, in this society, there's a lot of homes that don't have men in them. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I'm hoping that someone uh, that know, if you know someone that's, that's lacking male leadership in their home, uh, 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 you know, just, just encourage them. You know, there's a time in the season for all things. I, I know, and I you know, I had a guy tell me, he said, well, I don't believe a woman got no better attention and this. And I asked him, I said, well, that, that, I understand what you're saying. I said, but, um, I said, did you go to elementary school? He's like, yeah. I said, did you go to high school? He said, yeah. I said, how many male teachers did you have? Mm-hmm. Most of them. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So don't get so caught up in mm -hmm. what you hear. Mm -hmm. Because God is a God that moves with, when he don't change. No. Nope. But he's always ahead of the change. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. He's his God that moves all the time. He's constantly evolving. And so your relationship with God has to be so in tune that the way you used to pray, when, it's, when God says it's time to go to the next level, you can receive that. Because mm -hmm. we'll get caught up in traditionalism so quick mm -hmm. that we'll put ourselves, well, you know, we go to the morning bench and the deacon, he says the prayer, and Lord, oh, Lord, and nobody gets anything out of the prayer. <laughs> no. Now, that's it. Exactly. That's it. Now, God, I feel God is, is mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. religion had its place. That's right. It had its place. Mm -hmm. But I think God is on a relationship move now. Mm -hmm. Everything that's happening to, to, to this society, to this world, if you think about it, it's, it affects what? Relationships. Mm -hmm. Business relationships, mm -hmm. government relationships, mm -hmm. but the focus is relationships. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I'm reading the book of Joshua. Uh, if you don't mind turning with me there, Joshua 24. The 24th chapter of Joshua. And uh, I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to read from the Amplified. The reason why I like the Amplified, a lot of times people can't really get the KJ version. So the Amplifiers kind of puts it in a more modern term. Now, okay, okay. I did better than I thought of that. <laughs> what, what's happened here is Joshua gathered all the leaders and all the people, the children of Israel. And he basically, it's Joshua 24, 24 chapter of Joshua. And basically what he did was, matter of fact, it's Joshua 24, is 1 through 15. I'm going I'm to summarize it. Mm -hmm. What he did was he took them down a chronological order of all that God had done. How he delivered them from the hand of Pharaoh. How he brought them to the land of Canaan. How he took them out of the hands of the enemy. And at the end of this thing, you know, um, the part that really blessed me was there were people that prayed against the children of Israel. And what did he say? He said, I heard them, but I didn't answer their prayer. Mm -hmm. Instead, I caused them to bless you. Mm -hmm. Now, I said, okay, God, what are you trying to tell us? You have to understand that that when you, uh, and I'm using Jesus Christ as my perfect example. That's what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Find you someone that you can pattern after. So find you someone that you can mold yourself after. Mm -hmm. You know, I love my daddy. Oh, yeah. I love him. I love him. But, but I'm praying that he's doing the same thing I'm doing using God as his path. Mm -hmm. Because what will happen is you'll get caught up in, 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 the, in the physical uh, sense of pattern and you'll find yourself doing everything your daddy did. Mm -hmm. Now, and I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I know there's a process my daddy had to go through because everything he did wasn't always right. Mm -hmm. yes. Even though he's where he's at now, he's an awesome man of God, I'm, I guarantee you if he was to take us down the road of his, his journey, yes. There was a couple of uh, bumps in the road. There was a couple of brick walls that he ran into. We had to turn around and redirect. Mm -hmm. And so in, in, as, a, as a father, you want what's best for your children. So you always want them to do what? Better than you. Mm -hmm. You always want to, right. them to have more than you. Mm -hmm. You know, Luke tells us that uh, the students never uh, 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 more uh, better than the teacher. Mm -hmm. But as he's been trained, he becomes just like the teacher. Mm -hmm. So we use God as our pattern. Yes. 
That's what I'm trying to get to. If we use God as our parents, what Joshua was saying here, I don't care what all we've been through. Look at all the stuff y'all been through. Look at all the stuff he's done for us. All right. And you constantly turn your back on the one person that loves you more than his own son. Mm -hmm. And in the process of you uh, surrendering to, this, this, to, this, to, to, to the love of God, what he, he'll bless you when others try to curse you. He'll bless you whenever you don't even deserve it. Okay? So you have to put yourself in a position to where I daily do this. Not so much what would my daddy do, but is God pleased with what Greg is doing? Because I can't do what my daddy does. Mm -hmm. my, my father's relationship with God is totally different from mine. Mm -hmm. His ministry with God is totally different from mine. Mm -hmm. Yes, the ultimate goal is to what? To win souls for Christ. Mm -hmm. But the resources that God gave him, mm -hmm. he didn't, he didn't, I don't, I don't use those same resources mm -hmm. because I'm in a different time frame. You see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. So as a man, as you're in your home, you should want to, you should want your wives and your children to see the example of God mm -hmm. in your action, to see the example of God mm -hmm. in your, in the way you talk to your wife. Mm -hmm. There was times when my wife and I, uh, and I, I bless God for it, uh, we would, we would have disagreements. And some of them were stupid. And I knew they were stupid, but I didn't want her to win, so I just stuck with it. <laughs> but it was through the love of God, understanding, wanting God to, to wanting to look like God, mm -hmm. it would cause me to... <sighs> hey, baby. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You was right. Mm -hmm. Happy wife. But, you know, <laughs> next time, you know, let me be the man. <laughs> but the, what happens is when you uh -huh. use God as your pattern, mm -hmm. it changes the way you deal yes, with everybody. Does. Yes, it does. It changes the way you, you deal with the, the, the things that come against you. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be the time when people cut you off in the car, you're flipping them off and uh -huh. you're cussing. Uh -huh. Now you're saying, Lord bless them, That's Lord right. protect them. That's right. And what happens is when you use God as your pattern, mm -hmm. you'll find yourself changing your lifestyle. That's, that's the other thing. Mm -hmm. That should be a life change. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me you've been in the presence of God and nothing changes. Mm -hmm. Whenever Moses would go to the mountaintop and come from God, he was what? He was filled with a radiance. Mm -hmm. He had a covered face. Why? Mm -hmm. Because he was in the pure presence of God. Mm -hmm. So what I'm telling you is, the Bible says, so let your light shine that men may see it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you can't, they can't see your light, mm -hmm. they should be able to see the light of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should cause people to, 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 to not so much run from you, but they should look at you and view you different. Uh -huh. right. So if you're not, if your life uh, coming into Christ doesn't cause people to look at you different, mm -hmm. you might need to check the reflection. Mm -hmm. right. Check your reflection mm -hmm. and ask yourself, mm -hmm. am I pattern after God? Did, did I really use God as a pattern? You know that one time when I was at the store and she gave me too much change. Mm -hmm. Was God pleased with the way I handled that? Did I do the right thing? Mm -hmm. And this, that's what it's all about, people. It's mm -hmm. all about looking at yourself on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, if you spend 24 hours a day worrying about you, mm -hmm. you won't have time for mm -hmm. nobody else. Mm -hmm. You better say it. Mm -hmm. mm. You'll never have time to worry about what they're doing over here. What those are called distractions. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught up in the distractions. Mm -hmm. My relationship with God keeps me straight. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly looking. And even when I feel that stuff pulling on me, tugging on me, come over here and have some fun. Mm -hmm. Hey, boy, remember this? I, I have to do this. Mm -hmm. Coming up here, I'm studying. My wife, this to the radio, she said, baby, is that music distracting you? I wasn't even hearing the music. Mm -hmm. Because I got to a place now, when I'm in, when I'm in a relationship with God, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what's going on around That's right. Because you're not always going to be in a place where you can hide in a closet, right. in a natural closet. That's right. But you can close your mind yeah, on Yeah, you go. Yes, you can. I would see my daddy do that. Mm -hmm. You know, he would just be there praying and praying. Mm -hmm. like, who prays that long? <laughs> <laughs> but his relationship with God was so real uh -huh. that he didn't want to leave his presence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't want, you know how you ever met people in the store and mm -hmm. you got to go and they just want to talk? Uh -huh. that, that, that's how you should be with God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. God should be like, look at boy, I got things to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you want? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's how it should be. Uh -huh. You should want to be with God so to the point where, mm -hmm. okay, God, but what about this one thing? Okay, God, what about this one? Mm -hmm. That's how you should want to be with God. Mm -hmm. And I thank God. I know I'm running out of time, but I want to say this. It's a little nutty. Your spiritual character needs to marry up with your natural identity. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're flesh and we're spirit. Mm -hmm. 
right? Mm -hmm. One's supposed to dominate the other, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So where's your focus? Is your focus on your natural or, or your spiritual? Your spiritual. Yeah. Now, as you pattern yourself, mm -hmm. eventually what's going to happen is the natural should die. Uh -huh. The natural should surrender to the spiritual. Mm -hmm. That's how you know the spiritual maturity of a person. Mm -hmm. The way they handle themselves mm -hmm. in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Because if they're always in the flesh, mm -hmm. that tells us that we're what? Mm -hmm. Got a lot of work to do. That's right. Yeah. So your 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 spiritual mm -hmm. should eventually overpower Amen. your natural. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.